Sup, 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 my name is Radio for the Yu-Gi-Oh! Council, and one of the more requested deck profiles is Constellers. So i kind of been just putting it on the back burner for a little bit, because I didn't know where to um, approach it. I didn't know if I wanted to go back to the, kind of the, the old Constellers of yesterday, or basically just upgrade them to something completely different. But I kind of went for a little bit of both, you'll see what I mean in a minute. You know, I have text from now, and text of the past. So let's do this. So... We have three Consular Cross, three Consular Polix, three Consular. I can't pronounce her name, but she's a spellcaster that allows you normal summon again, and one bear. And then we also have three Sombre and two Honest. Now, why three Sombre? I know some people will be like, hey, it's more normal run two. I did my research, I know. The thing about Sombre is, when I get into a top deck situation, I like to have it as a fallback plan. So even though three can be cloggy at times, I'd rather have the three just as another option. And plus it gives me another light for honest, so it's kind of a thing. And I'm running two maxi for because everything special summons and just massive draw power out of the deck and I love it. Maxi has just been so good to me as of late. It really has. Um I was considering effect miller, I probably would side deck them over the um, you know, I would side deck them in the in the side deck. But maxi is just ten times better right now for, you know, more draw power. But the double honest has been so good, and the one tech bear for everything that's not Shadals. I mean, it takes out Construct, that's something, but it doesn't take out Winda, which kind of sucks. It takes out the Earth one, too, so it's a thing. Let's talk about the spells. One Raikaki, three Reinforcing to Army, one Soul Charge, two MST, one Book of Moon, three Tenki. And then, um, basically, so six Rotas and two Super Draw Powers. Makes the deck really fast. Two Mind Crush, very, very popular, very good right now. One Bottomless, two Mirror Force, one Trental, one Cabalus, one Vanities, Triple Fiend is Chain, one Warning. I've been liking this trap lineup really well because it doesn't doesn't give me like traps that basically how do I put this? It, it pretty much everything's live at some point of the game and it basically allows me to just like usually drop Consular Pallades turn one and just make them try to get over it and then have the traps to back it up. So it's it's been pretty damn good. Let's talk about that extra deck. Gaia, M7, two Pleiades, one Volcasaurus, one Dark Rebellion, Exceed Dragon, one Omega. Omega wins games against things called Fire Fist, which is deck profile that's also coming up. One single 101. I'm not a big fan of 101, but it's still a good option. One Hard Land Draco steals games when you have Tenki up. Uh, one Castell, one Direwolf, just for the option of Direwolf. You don't really ever go into it, but just another option. One Exiton Knights. One Digusto Emrel to recycle a few things, recycle Honest. Um, it has its uses. Basically, you have to be more on a winning side, or you just play a Mirror Force or Soul Charge, or whatever. One Abyss Dweller and one Guy Cowboy. I've been liking the extra deck very, very much. I pretty much have had good matches across the board. I would side Chow and Prizzy Mirror just for the Shadol matchup, make that a little bit easier, and Burning Abyss, which have been irrelevant for a little while. I haven't really seen them popping up too much as, as I did last format which is always a good thing when you don't see as much but um here they go there's Constellers long awaited sorry for the waits I, I didn't want to keep you waiting but I just had to make sure it was up to my standard what I like and th this actually has been but Maxi plus Mind Crush so dirty because basically they go to special summon they take their search piece Satella Knights and you Mind Crush them and they're like fuck Spe Mind Crush especially now that Star Seraphs are a thing, you can crush it right out of their hands when they're about to play it. So, rip. 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 Rate, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Peace.